just about enough of this place. This school, this town, this world. Everything is so full of hate and violence that... And I just gotta escape. That's it. The knowledge hole. so soon. I, I'm tired, Herman. I don't like this world anymore, and I just wanted a few moments in a real safe place. You've never hurt anybody, Herman. I'm tired of the violence and the hatred and the politics. Can you help me? I think I know just the thing that can help you. bills coming around this year that may help you is the Student Mental Health Rights Act, number 5,200. Introduced to the House Committee of Education and Labor on November 20th of last year by Katie Porter of California, boring white name, and co-sponsored, and, and co because I am literate, by Joe Courtney of Connecticut and Debbie I'm taking a wild guess. Please don't be offended, Daddy. Powell of Florida. This bill is nothing more than a baby. It's only just been introduced to the House, and knowing how long congressional processes take, it'll be a while. Basically, what this thing will do will extend other laws already existing, mostly the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. Scared to think that was 30 years ago. Anyway, to make the long story even shorter, what this is going to do is extend even more protection over students in higher education circles with mental disabilities and illnesses, high schools, colleges, and that sort of building. Accommodations and modifications will be obligatory to give to students suffering from these illnesses in order to fully participate in campus life. Books and keggers, Nikki. Books and keggers. Okay! And under this bill, universities will be pressured to create plans of protection for suffering students with these illnesses, as well as strange cases such as requiring students to leave the institution of higher education, evicting students from on-campus housing, and establishing excessive and unnecessary impediments to the return of such students to the institution of higher education. That, dear friend, that comes right from the bill itself. However, this must first be set into motion by a study due on June, that is June, 30th of 2021 on the mental health and substance use conditions in higher education institutions. Policies to respect students with these conditions, policies with respect to leaves and returns of absences due to these such conditions, and just yeah, basically caring for these kids. That was a lot of knowledge to take in, but I kind of like the sound of it. What do you think about it? Of course it should pass! Mental health has been a big issue for years! So much so that this law supposedly builds off of other laws already in effect, such as the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 that mentioned if you were listening. This would mean that essentially it is only extending something that already exists elsewhere into a place that really needs it. As I've said, this bill is relatively new, so I don't expect too much to be done immediately, but I still give... I still have hopes. Let's phrase it that way instead of reading a clunky sentence. That this could potentially go somewhere. I do see a possible flaw being the funding of this bill, considering what all it is trying to. Protect. In 
short. We don't know. So, shoot for the multiverse in this one. You know, I read about a bill kind of similar called the Increasing Access to Mental Health in Schools Act, number 1642. The purpose of this bill is to provide low-income schools with the mental health services that are needed. This grants, the grant for this can also be used to provide student loan forgiveness and tuition credits, along with supporting recruitment, training, and hiring of professionals in terms of mental health. The bill was introduced to the Senate on May 23rd of 2019, and since then it has been read twice and referred to the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committees. It was sponsored by John Tester of Montana and co-sponsored by Richard Methel, Christopher Coons, Ron Wyden, Debbie Stabenow, Jeff Merkley, and Kathleen Cortez. This team went on to present this bill to the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committees of the Senate. Good job, guys. Your knowledge amazes me. Your thoughts on this? Well, I personally feel that this bill is worth a try because, quite honestly, it all comes down to the one life that could be saved. There are numerous schools that are low income and would not even think about increasing their mental health services. But with the help of the government, this can be done. Think of, think of the good things that can come out of it, too. It will better the school environment. It will give students the mental health support they deserve. Also, it is believed that the overall cost of this bill will not affect revenues. However, the main con of this is that it would require government spending, which is evidently a reoccurring issue in America. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that this bill would increase direct spending by $75 million. It would also increase discretionary outlays by $1.9 billion. In addition, others may view this bill as efficient as non-efficient or useless because no matter how many services are offered, not all of the students will take advantage of this opportunity. Basically, this bill is most definitely worth considering because it could help offer mental health services to schools that suffer from low income. Hopefully, money is not more important to the government than the health of the younger generation. I love that your emotions are completely scripted. I couldn't agree more, but it seems you're being pulled back. I can't keep you with you. But I know where I can find you, and of course, you know where you can find me. Go on. Okay, what do you have to say about this, uh, this year project? I think, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job here. I think, I think we have some good time. I just broke my elbow. <laughs> Where are the funny sound effects? Where's the groovy music, Hermit? I'm broke. My computer is broken, which means I'm crippled. I can only do as this little potato replacement of a Chromebook, thank you school, provides me. Can't even get to the page. It's horrible. Awful! So, 
Forgive me for not giving the quality I normally do, but just bear with me because I'm just as upset as you are. Also, as an artist, I like to try different things, see if they work, so just shut up and eat it because I know that you're going to love it anyways. I'm entertaining, you're not. Have a nice day with your slideshow. PowerPoint. <clears throat> Speaking of mental health, just don't be crabby with me because there are other people in here that you don't want to see. You're lucky that I'm here because you'll have to deal with him.